today i'm going to discuss you with the experiment carried out by mr robert a melican it was carried out between the years 1906 and the 1914 and this experiment was carried out to determine the charge of the electron and he found by this experiment that the charge of the electron was negative 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs so as you could see this is the image of the mr robert a millikan performing the experiment and he performed a, a great experiment which further helped a lot after the discovery as after the discovery of the electron there was not much known about the electrons so at that time he founded the charge on the electron which afterwards helped us to found out the e by m ratios and which tell us the mass of the electron so let us go forward as you can see this was the apparatus this was the apparatus which was used by the mr robert a melican as you could see this is something like the cylinder this is something like a telescope and let us discuss the same apparatus in very simplest manner so as you could see this is the experiment which was performed so let us start from the beginning there was a device known as atomizer atomizer was something like my perfume bottle have you seen it and this was something a squeezy part so when we are going to squeeze this part so what happens the very tiny very minute oil particles oil drops come out from this come out from this atomizer and which enters something like the cylinder okay and here the oil as we all know the force of gravitation acts and the oil droplets move downwards downwards and they were the two electrical plates that two electrical plate charge plates that means this one charge metal plate and this one was the charge metal plate plate as this was this was charged as you could see that here is the circuit it was charged with a negative it was charged with a positive charge and this was charged with a negative charge and there was a source of a light so that the the experiment could be visible and there was a there was a microscope there was a microscope situated at this so to see to look after the downward motion of the drops okay so by measuring the rate of fall this drops rate of fall of this drops he could measure the radius of the oil droplets and the air inside and as you could see he measured the radius of the oil, oil droplets and this air which was inside this chamber was ionized by the x-rays it was ionized by using the x-rays and so the fall of these so the fall of these charge so because of this uh, oil x-rays the gas part the gas the oil droplets falling down became also gains the electrons that means they gain the negative charge what they gain they gain the electrons or they gain the negative charge this this oil droplets and when this uh, as you could know the opposite charges attract each other and the uh, similar charges repel each other so when this droplets were falling negatively charged droplets were falling so he found it at what charge or at what amount of uh, charges to be applied to this plate so that this droplets could be came at equilibrium that means as we know as a downwards in the downward direction the force was acting mg and what he does in the upward direction he makes this sorry he makes this equals to qe so what he does he founded the he, he mathematically calculated that at what charge at what amount of charge that qe will become equal to mg so so by this he could accelerate decelerate or even the bring this oil droplets at the equilibrium so afterwards after the all the con conclusion he found it that the charge the charge with the so as this were negatively charged so he applied the positively charge so afterwards he found it the charge which was required to bring this situation at equilibrium 
or he found it that the charge with the electron consists is equal to minus 1.6 into 10 to the power sorry it is 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs so this was the Macmillan's experiment and now this charge is being calculated by the modern methods and is also known as minus 1.6022 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs as this charge char charges are now calculated with more accuracy and this is the result so this was the experiment of the Macmillan's experiment so this experiment plays a major role in the in the form in the mm, this experiment see I could see the major role in founding the charge of the electron and which was further due to this the mass of the electron was calculated so let us see how the mass of the electron was also calculated so m was equals to by the e by m ratio that was equals to e by e by m so which equals to 1 point as we could see 1.6 please uh, 1.6022 into 10 to the power minus 19 was taken as the value minus 19 minus 19 coulomb was divided by e by m ratio that something comes out to be power 1.7 1.75 into 10 to the power 11 coulomb kg inverse so the mass of the one electron came out to be came out to be 9.9 point, 9 point one, 1094 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg so as we could do this was the mass of the electron that is 9.1 that is 9.1094 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg so you could imagine how small this the mass of the electron was and in calculating the mass of the electron Mr. J.G. Thompson also helped this Mr. Macmillan to f also help to find out the mass of the electron okay that's all so please so please check out my other videos please comment on the videos and please if you like it please and if you like if you like my videos please add your precious comments thank you